Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Cyanogen Mod 12 on your Galaxy S3. So before we get started, let's go over the prerequisites for flashing this ROM. First of all, you will need to have a custom recovery installed. That's either Phil's Touch Recovery or Clockwork Mod Recovery. So if you don't have that, please go on to a website and get that onto your phone. Secondly, for this to happen, you need to be rooted. So for you to get custom recovery, it is imperative that your phone is rooted. So if you haven't rooted your phone, then you might as well consider doing that. This is going to take you to Android Lollipop, which is the greatest and latest version of Android. But in doing so, it will void your warranty. So please keep that in mind before proceeding. And without further ado, let's proceed. So the first thing you will need to do is to download the ROM from the first link in the description down below. So get that from XDA and the build is dated 30th of December, which is a pretty up to date build. So if you find a later build, just follow this tutorial and get that file and get that flash onto your phone. The second file you will need will be in the second link in the description and that is the Google Apps file. So once you have those two files, be sure to put them into the external SD card of your phone and once you do that, we're pretty much set to go. Jumping back onto the phone, the first thing you will need to do is to unlock the phone and jump into custom recovery. That's volume up, power and the home button simultaneously pressed together for a long period of time until the phone reboots and you can let go of it right now. And if everything's done correctly, we should be in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Hopefully we are. There we go. There is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, if you are moving from a previous Cyanogen build, you don't need to wipe data or factory reset, but if you are moving from another custom ROM itself, it is advisable that you clear your cache and wipe data and perform the factory reset, which doesn't take that long. Then what you want to do is go on to install zip and go on to SD card 1 which is your external SD card scroll down until you find the CM12 unofficial build that you downloaded and put into your SD card click the home button and click yes and now the ROM will install itself directly onto the phone please be patient as this may take quite some time because you're switching ROMs however it'll say it's completed once it's over so I'll catch you guys when this is over. Alright guys, so the ROM has been officially flashed onto your phone, but we are not quite done yet. What you want to do is install again from SD card, but this time you want to go ahead and install Google Apps Lollipop version that we downloaded from the second link in the description. Click the home button, click yes, and this won't take as long as the ROM install because this is a small update. So wait for this to be done. As you can see, you can follow the process right here, and it is a pretty, pretty quick one. So once that is done, you are pretty much set to go into Cyanogen Mod 12. Now remember, this is an unofficial version of Cyanogen Mod, so expect bugs. But if you want to see a full changelog of all the bugs and all of the things that are working, you can visit the third link in the description, which will tell you everything that's working and everything that's not. Now go back and hit reboot system now. It says root access possibly lost so if it does say that just say yes fix root and it will do it for you if all goes well. And now just wait for your phone to reboot and you should be done. Let's just wait there we go Cyanogen mod is booting up so I'll catch you guys when this has booted up. After about two or three minutes you should see this screen on your phone which symbolizes that the update was successful. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to get Cyanogen Mod 12, an official build on the Galaxy S3, the international variant. If you did find this video helpful, leave it a like rating and subscribe to my channel to see further videos such as this as well as full CES coverage in the near future. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.